And we're live everyone, this is Amateur Gamer, and I'll be returning to Amateur Gamer casting Age of Empires 2 DE, and we're on the map for Lakes. And for Blue, we have Epic Troller Dog playing as the Huns, and we have... Oh great, they're using different colors. This is gonna throw me off. I'm so used to red and blue. And for... So yeah, before it was purple, now it's blue, teal... I think that's blue. We have Irafunesta playing as the Persians. Oh great. Now we're gonna have different colors. I'm so used to just red and blue. So now it's gonna change up. So yeah, Persia Persia is a cavalry sieve. Yeah, Persia is cavalry sieve. Huns cavalry or cavalry archer sieve? There's a difference. Yeah, now with all the different colors. Okay, both are cavalry sieves, but Huns are more geared towards cavalry archers. Well, Persia, yeah, this is going to be. Yeah, Persia is more of a war elephant kind of thing. So early on, there isn't really much to see here. Let's see, knights, war elephants. 30% faster, still weak against monks. So the question is, will the Hun player? I mean, I, I'm expecting the Huns to not have great monks. They probably don't even have all the techs, I would imagine. Yeah, they don't have. Okay, that. They don't have redemption. They don't have extra range. I mean, they still had the extra health, so there is still that. Um, what is blue do? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no, blue just lost a villager. I even sped it up, so. But yeah, l losing a villager this early on is not good. Because right now you can only build one villager at a time. And if your opponent is building at roughly the same rate as you... Wait, this placement is a bit different. Before it's more corner. Like before you start like closer to the lakes. Did they change this? They might have. I mean to be fair, but before you start closer to the... Oh, what do you call it? You start closer to the lakes, so you could actually start making use of the fish much sooner. And once again, we have Persia. Yeah, Persia definitely wants... Wait. Uh, town center docks work rate. Is that for everything? If that work rate is for everything, then yeah, that dock is going to... How did the Huns get it sooner? I mean, the Huns got the dock sooner, but the Huns is not building a fishing ship yet. I actually like this a bit better. Like, as opposed to having your dock right behind you and being able to be relatively safe, now you have to move out a bit more. The Huns still don't have a fishing boat yet. Oh no. Blue. I mean, it doesn't help that these two colors are pretty similar here. Maybe I'm just a bit colorblind. That, that, that might also be the case. That's a loom. That might still be a bit early for the loom. So, so far, blue's not doing as well. Wait. How is it that blue lost a villager, but blue still has more villagers? <laughs> it's like, huh. Yeah, it, it does show the deaths. So, blue has lost one, but blue still has two more villagers, and both sides are still getting villagers. So, I honestly don't know. Ooh, a barracks already. 
Am I missing something? Okay, purple is only just now getting the first fishing ship. While blue is queuing up too to help with the food. Um, okay. Yeah, they might want to finish that Ibex first, but I mean, blue did lose a villager, so I don't know what to expect. But yeah, that, that that's how crazy it is. The fact that blue blue has lost a villager and still has more villagers than purple. I'm like, huh. So we have the start of a wall. Blue has already started. Uh, is this closed off? Ye I th um, I think so. What's throwing me off is the fact that there's a bit of an elevation, so so really makes it a bit awkward. How how big do you want this? <laughs> oh, they don't have looms yet. Yeah, I was like, where are you trying to get the walls? So purple is going for feudal age. Blue has a lot of idle villagers. Um, okay, I feel bad for the ibex. Yeah, these villagers have a lot of distance to cover. Okay, we have a bit of a combat. What are you doing, Blue? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, Blue is losing so many. Oh, Purple did go for Malicious. I was like, they went for barracks, so they might go for early rush. But purple is not taking advantage of it very well. N nor is purple. Oh, I was like, ah, oh, purple is in research. No, purple already got men at arms. Yeah, you definitely want looms. So we do have the barracks here. These are men of arms. Why are you not attacking the wood line? Oh, uh, is is this gonna be another one of those games where it's like a uh, face palm? Ooh, losing that scale is not good. Yeah, that's the thing. I I, I feel like purple. Sh Why are you attacking that? If you're harassing these wood lines, it will slow down. I mean, honestly, I would not go for stable. I would probably go for an archery range because you already have barracks. Is that militia? Yeah, that's only militia. And since they don't have looms, yeah, that's the thing, right? All you have to do is disrupt them. I mean, yes, it's nice to get kills. Uh, yeah. They are actually losing quite a bit. No, you don't want to fight them. Oh, why are you losing villagers? Yeah, blue has lost... Five? Blue lost that one villager to the boar. Lost the... Scout cavalry. And... Yeah, the... Well... Make that six. Yeah, that villager will win that. <laughs> All you have to do is hit him once more. But yeah, I'm not sure if that damage was... So, blue killed three men at arms and one scout cavalry. I mean, what amazes me is that blue still has more villagers. <laughs> you would think it would slow them down, but no, not quite. They're getting mining camps. How many are you getting? That's 10. Wow. Oh man, look at these walls. Blue is like, I'm not going to lose any more villagers. Okay, see, so that's... Wait, why is... Blue still building more. Uh, I guess I guess it's not a bad thing. 
I mean, you do need the wood to get the fishing traps later, but that's a whole different matter later on. Um, I guess that's how purple, I mean, blue is able to get that many villagers. Because blue has that many more fishing boats. So blue has that much more food. And is able to just... And plus, purple is building up a military. I don't know where it is, though. Oh, they're, they're attacking for round two. And blue has... See, that's the thing. The, the problem is blue is too reactive, right? Blue is like, oh, I mean, yeah, skirmisher is not a bad idea. But the question is, how quickly can you get those out? And if they're able to harass... I mean, that's the main problem earlier. Like, they were attacking this house. Oh, purple is not paying attention. Yeah, skirmishers are good, but you, you need a good number. If, if you allow purple to isolate them and pick them off, then that's not good. And I think this early on, yeah, they have the same range. So it's a question of who can micro a bit better. But, but eventually these skirmishers will win. Unless they make some really bad mistakes. Oh no. Purple, why are you letting your spearmen get picked off like that? Yeah, just... I mean, if blue is hesitant to act... Oh, do they have looms now? Okay, they have looms. Otherwise, yeah, they would die pretty quickly. Oh, this is not good. That's a lot of villagers dying. I mean, blue still has the advantage, but you don't want to be in a situation where you have to replace a ton of your villagers, right? I feel like, yes, they got skirmishers. Yes, they could eventually clean this up, but the damage might have... Actually, I wouldn't say the damage is done, but it's more like... Blue could be more ahead in this case. So overall, I mean, purple is still in it. But yeah, purple, yeah, I mean, those archers were going to get cleaned up. But the main thing was, purple is still building a military. It's almost surprising. Yeah, they're not going to take out these fishing ships that easily. They have a lot of PRS armor. Four. So blue has started on. Yeah, blue still has more villagers. That is how crazy it is. Like despite losing all of those villagers, and purple didn't even bother like walling everything off. It's like we'll just leave this huge gap because what could go wrong? Actually, I feel like if blue attack with a sizable number of uh, skirmishers, like what answer does purple have, right? Are you going for at least skirmishers? Why are you getting fire galleys? What? Husbandry. Are you getting light cavalry? Getting a town center, okay. To be fair, I I didn't have high expectations from blue due to that villager that died to the boar here, somewhere here. But seeing the responses, the quick responses, the right responses, um, I definitely think that maybe my previous judgment on blue was kind of bad <laughs> yeah I don't know why they're getting fire galleys they can't travel on land is purple even getting another town center or is purple going like all all military Yeah, I'm so confused. They are still attacking. Okay, they have crossbows now. 
I mean, this fire galley actually will do pretty good. In hindsight, right? At the time, I'm like, oh, that fire galley is not that good. But that fire galley could actually deal with all of these crossbows relatively easily. If blue ever gets around to it. If not. Okay. Oh, they got through. Okay, yeah. See, before they got through, if you had the fire galley there, that would have been problematic. But yeah, these are crossbows. Crossbows versus skirmishers and knights. Why is... Uh, why is... Blue is so indecisive. Yeah, blue is actually taking more damage from this, which, well. Actually, the fire galley would definitely be better if positioned here. Yeah, blue is really hesitant. I mean, now that they, they got softened up over time, yeah, <laughs> they're not going to win. Blue has responded, but blue has proven that at least in terms of microing and like deciding when to make the proper engagement, yeah. Purple seems to be a bit better at microing, just trying to sidestep and focus on the enemy. Actually, you don't want them to go through there. Oh, blue. How many villagers must die under you? Like, I should just call Blue the Villager Slayer. Yeah, that, that town center is at a good spot. But, in my opinion, Blue still lost far more than they should have. I mean, Blue's in a really weird spot, too. Okay, so blue got two cent town centers. What are these town center locations? <laughs> I mean, at least purple got a second one. Oh, third one, okay. Not stone? I don't think wood is something purple should be terribly worried about. See, what's happening now is because of all of this aggression, it seems like blue is focusing quite heavily on military as well which makes sense but I feel like blue should go on the offensive if possible yeah that's quite a few so we have at least skirmishers and knights cavalry archers from the Huns um, oh you don't want to lose these guys <laughs> at least not like that Maybe eventually purple, sorry, maybe eventually purple will actually wall off someday. Oh, you don't want them to get caught? Oh, no. Oh, that's actually pretty expensive. See, that's the thing. Blue likes to slay his or her own villagers. Oh, I didn't realize they had that many. So it could have been a lot worse. Oh man, that's quite a few. Did they start with thumb ring or something? Or am I confusing them with someone else? Tarkins. No, their, their cost is just cheaper. They still have to research. At least, yeah. Okay, yeah, they still have to research it. This is definitely getting interesting. Wow, that tiger. <laughs> Pervert is like, screw you. You're going down whether, whether you like it or not. And are they weak against skirmishers? Weak versus at least skirmishers and units at close range. Okay, wait, did they not do a lot of damage? Actually, it might be the firing rate. And also because of the range. 
Yeah, that's the thing. Purple has a lot of at least skirmishers, but man, it's not quite worth it. Oh, uh, this is not an engagement you want to take. Oh, those because if I remember correctly, horse cavalry archers require gold. Yeah, that's. I mean, skirmishers are. Uh, what do you call it? Trash units, right? Yes. It means they don't need gold. Okay. Oh no, blue! You don't want to. Wait, do they outrange? Oh my god, at least skirmishers outrange the town center. For a moment I thought I froze or something. Yeah, if they just break openings. Am I having connection issues? This is normally what happens when I'm playing, not when I'm casting. Yeah, go through this opening. I hope you don't get stuck. And blue is going for. Yeah, blue has a better economy. At least it feels like they. Actually, purple has been doing pretty well in getting villagers up. It's close, but but right now it's mostly blue that's basically basically on the counter offensive. But military wise. Actually, blue has a larger. Oh no, you don't want to. Oh yeah, that is not good. That's still not a good trade. I I don't care if they win this engagement. That the units they lose. I mean that, assuming they win the engagement, is still not a good one. I mean, what they need is their Tarkin. Attack bonus first buildings. That sounds pretty useful. Do they have a single castle yet? I know I'm usually like really behind. Okay, they are mining stone. Do they? Yeah, they have enough stone for a castle. Tarkin might be what they. Oh no. A mangano is actually really frustrating to deal with with uh, cavalry archers. Oh, if that falls. That's the thing. Cavalry archers can't deal with Magnos effectively. I mean, yes, with enough kiting, you could get to them. But the thing is, right now, your town center is under heavy fire. Yeah, if, if I was blue, I would just focus on this town center. The sooner it falls... The sooner I'll be able to push forward more. Where's your castle? Does blue have a castle? I'm so confused. Like, purple has been the aggressor but has no castle, which... Oh no. Oh, that's, that's the worst place for them to find themselves in. Yep. Like these cavalry archers should have just went through and pick off these villagers and then move out. Yeah, blue is getting too many villagers. Blue is still getting villagers. Oh dear. Wait, are they? Yes. Why did they back off? Alright, to deal with the... Oh my god, look at how many idle villagers there are. The Huns got some knights. I think that's like the first castle that I know of. Yeah, if if Blue had gotten the castle sooner and built trebuchets, it would have been long over. Because what answers do you have? Why are you still throwing horse archers against these? <laughs> Like, not only are they not good, but they're also making these bad trades. And bl and blue is... Oh, no, 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 purple. That is not good. Oh, that is... Oh, wow. That was, what, 2, 4, 6, 8? Around 8? Building two castles. Getting trebuchets. Yeah.
I'm not surprised. Purple. Purple should have, like, changed directions. It, it was obvious that once the skirmishers were out, those horse archers. I mean, if, if Purple had gone for, say, Tarkans to deal with those skirmishers and use the cavalry archers to deal with other units, it, it might have worked. But Purple was so determined on getting lots of horse archers, cavalry archers, that it just didn't pay off in the long run. Anyways, good game for Blue. Yeah, Blue had me worried initially when he or she lost the villager, but you know, after some questionable decisions and whatever, Blue was definitely the better player there. Just reacted and was able to counter and eventually just started to make a push. And when Purple saw the trebuchet and the castle, yeah, it was kind of over. Kind of GG. Anyways, great game from both players. Anyways, this is the end of this video. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you have a good one.